for Paul I want you to mention I want you to underline in your mind a point number two is that Paul's purpose was reached gradually why because when Jesus met Paul he told Paul three kinds of people apostle Paul has to reach in his life first it was the children of Israel in other words the Jewish people the second one it was the Gentiles Gentiles is you and I Gentiles is non-Jewish people anybody any, any Jewish people here full-blood Jewish half Jewish one quarter Jewish one eighth no okay anybody doesn't know you're like dude I'm Mexican man I'm Russian American leave me alone so for Apostle Paul Jewish people this is what God says you're going to talk to Jewish people about Jesus and then he says I want you to talk about Gentiles means you and I people who are not Jewish and thirdly God says I want you and you are going to stand in front of kings and talk to them about Jesus so Paul spends a very much part of his life talking to Jewish people then he talks to the Gentiles people like us who are not Jewish and then Apostle Paul toward the end of his life gets locked in a prison ends up spending many years talking to kings about Jesus Christ and brings the witness to Jesus Christ to kings I want to let you know today is that God has a specific group he wants you to influence for his kingdom some of you you are single girls and honestly the most probably effective you will be is not with grandmas and with people in retirement home or even maybe with uh, older women who are married who have children but you will be probably most effective with those kind of girls like yourself when you grow like apostle paul there will be different categories of people you will be able to influence as you are faithful to god but you must understand all the goals God gives you up front cannot be fulfilled up front as you fulfill one another one unveils as you feel fulfill another one another one unveils Apostle Paul had the privilege of bringing the gospel of Jesus not only to the Jewish not only to the Gentiles but also to the kings I believe it is the purpose and the call of God to bring the message of Jesus not only to the homeless, not only to the drug addicts, not only to the alcoholics, not only to the people who are lost their way, but people in politics, people who are wealthy, people who are famous, people who are known, people who others look up to. The gospel is for every type and category of people. As a church, as a Christian, you must understand God is calling you to be a light not only to the people who are doing worse than you. When Paul was talking to the kings he was chained up yet he was sharing the gospel. Most of us feel disadvantaged telling someone about Jesus when they know you got bigger problems than them. Because we feel like the only time I have advantage like you know when they see I got a nice car when they see that I have a breakthrough that is the only time I can talk about Jesus. It's true it's good to talk about Jesus when your life is doing good and God is establishing your family God is healing you and there is testimonies but please understand Apostle Paul talked about Jesus even when the guys he talked to were higher financially higher economically higher politically but they were not higher spiritually and apostle Paul acted like an ambassador from heaven though in chains he still was an ambassador and he talked to them like a boss he witnessed to them not hiding and saying, oh I'm just I don't know guys this whole Jesus thing got me locked up I got you locked up so be careful he was not sure you know I know yes he helped me but just just I'm just not sure no I just don't want to talk no Paul was bold he was talking like he was a boss he knew what he was talking about some people are afraid to share their faith with their boss some people are afraid to to tell their manager when they're going through a hard time about Jesus you're like well he's a manager well that doesn't mean that he is an angel he's a human he needs Jesus the gospel of Jesus Christ well some people well he's a football player he, she's a cheerleader you know she's famous she's you know everybody knows them he's a drug dealer you know he's he's this he's that you guys we should never characterize people we should see people this every person has a soul everybody look at me every person has a soul and that soul needs Jesus I remember the first time that I met with a person who, who drove very very expensive car. The car is probably more expensive than my house and I met with him after he got saved and right before that in the morning prayer I had to deal with my heart with one thing. God said Vlad don't look at him as a man who has that money. Look at him as a soul. 
don't look at him at nothing and don't let him buy you a drink you buy his coffee and so I remember we came in you know and he pulled out his wallet and there's literally like 10 100 dollars sticking out and I was like oh Jesus and here I am literally I, I don't have much money at that day and I'm pulling in like no I got you bro no I'm paying for you he's like are you sure in the back of my mind I was like if he says one more time I'll let him pay <laughs> and let him pay for my Starbucks card as well but and he says I'm like no 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 I got you and I met with him and when I talked to him I looked at it in his eyes and one thing I didn't let I didn't let his wallet stand between me and his soul don't let somebody's accomplishments don't let somebody's anger don't whoever they are remember inside of that big person is a little soul that is hungry for God. Can somebody say amen?